Hi friends, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like your video. Thank you all. With a big old battery, unique shape, and high style interior, does this EV SUV measure up as a Benz? As full electric luxury flagship SUVs go, the Mercedes-Benz EQS 580 certainly looks like it has the goods to take out the Tesla Model X prior to the arrival of this Benz and the Rivian R1S, the Tesla was the only three-row, seven-passenger electric SUV. Benz brings the right specs. At 107.8 kWh, the 580's battery is larger than the Model X's and is second only to the R1S Monster 133 kWh unit. That should help the Benz get approximately 285 miles of range on a full charge, a fair bit behind Tesla's longest range Model X, which has a 348 mile range. Dual permanent magnet electric motors send a combined 536 horsepower and 633 pounds to foot of torque through single speed transmissions to each axle and provide the silent, smooth and seamless whoosh we now expect from EVs. Less powerful EQS 450 models are available, Unexpected is how relatively nimble this 6,423-pound leather-lined sensory deprivation tank can feel thanks to four-wheel steering and air suspension, both standard. We found that when the going gets bumpy or the EQS is asked to hustle harder than the usual commute, the ride loses some refinement, at least compared to the EQS sedan, and the sheer mass of this SUV becomes apparent. But on perfect stretches of asphalt, the 580 does a passable impression of cruising at altitude, and off-road excursions cause only minimal turbulence for cabin occupants. Flying comparisons don't end with the cruising behavior. Front passengers are treated to first-class accommodations, with a world-class head-up display for the driver and dazzling graphics that appear to flow across a single dashboard spanning screen. Upon closer inspection, that one screen is actually made up of three individual displays beneath a shared pane of glass. As stunning as this setup may be, its software needs some upgrades. The interface is obtuse and forces you to rely on Hey, Mercedes voice commands as a band-aid to make up for the poor UX, features editor Christian Seba said. I shouldn't have to talk to the car to tell it to turn on the HUD or do basic functions. For those who think Hey is rude, you can change the voice prompt, and both Google and Amazon voice assistants are but an OK Google and Alexa query away. The second row does a passable business class impersonation, with an open feel afforded by the large sunroof and lots of room from the upright, oddly firm, yet heated, seats. But the expected luxury touches, like huge infotainment screens, pillowy headrests, and individual climate controls, are jarringly offset by a few non-premium aspects, like plasticky buttons and trim and no cup holders in the fold-down armrest. Unfortunately, the third row is no status, middle seat economy class, and it's here the Benz loses most of its luxury and engineering credibility. Ingress and egress are atrocious, just getting back there to unfold the third row requires two hands and a fair amount of shoving. And that is after removing a sturdy sliding cargo cover that bisects the third row. This is a pain to remove and store, you'll need a spot in your garage, Benz designers should check out what Cadillac did with the Lyric's clever cover storage under the rear cargo floor. The EQS 580 style, substance, and sheer novelty should immediately propel it to the top of the cross shopping list for potential Tesla Model X buyers. Range and most of the Luxotech touches are there, but for this to be worthy of the three-pointed star and tagline the best or nothing, Mercedes has work to do refining the body motions and various accommodations. We recommend starting with the fancy pop-out electronic door handles that occasionally do not.